Well, day three of our Key West adventure, and you know, how do you top a day of your third day adventure in Key West than you did the day before? We caught a grand slam the day before with Captain Brandon Sear, and uh, today we're going out fishing with Captain Jared Sear, who happens to be Brandon's brother, and uh, we decided, hey, the only way we can do this and make it better is if we do it on artificial. So we broke the DOAs and the mirror lures out. Uh, Mother Nature was bearing down on us, like I said, but here's how the day went. Shades go on. We'd be sick if we get one of these fish to eat a, the shrimp. Sure enough, we thought about it for a little bit and he said, okay, we'll go for a slam, but today we'll do it on artificial. Not skeptical a bit because everything I've ever thrown at each one of these fish I have in my tackle box. The magic whether it be a DOA or a mirror lure, I've caught every fish basically that we're targeting that day on artificials. Keep working it. Well, we got to the tarpon spot and we saw a bunch of small fish rolling. So I decided, hey, you know, I gave the eight foot loose inshore speed stick a workout yesterday. Let's see if we can change it up and catch them on something else. There he is. Oh. That was that perfect size one too. That was the perfect size one. <laughs> there he is again. God, he ate it again. Nope. Hope that ain't the first bite blues. Yeah. <laughs> there he is, brother! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah! Hello, my sweetie! Good job, Blair. Looks like a... I might have brought a knife to a gunfight, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go after this one. Uh, brought the seven six out since I was doing shrimp, <laughs> hoping for a little one. Go big or go home, buddy. Huh? Go big or go home. That's it. Well, he's a, look like he's about 45, 50. Yeah. Perfect size. Perfect size. Hopefully he's a. Oh, nice. Nice. He's a little mad. Oh, he popped. Oh, did he get off? Yeah, he pulled it. Every one I seemed to hook was a giant fish. There he is. Whoa, there he is. jump Blair. <laughs> oh. He ain't happy, is he? Oh. <laughs> I think we gotta go after that one, buddy. Woo! Gotta love it when they jump like that, brother. What I said earlier, a knife to a gunfight. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we got him still just rolling right there. I hope one don't swim into the line. Nice fish, man. <sighs> I'm gonna definitely give this 7.6 a test. Definitely. DOA, baby. You want on this trolling motor? Yeah, that's what I'd rather do. Off your one o'clock. Watch out. The sweet sound of music. Go get him, buddy. There he is. Oh, nice oh, oh, oh. Definitely a good test for the 7 6, though, I tell you. Getting there. So you believe we're in the DOA shrimp now, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I am. That was pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Oh. oh. Felt like something hit it. Or he wore through the leader. Nope. You don't want to fight a 100 pound tarpon on a seven foot six trout rod. 
he rubbed it on a rock or something. Look at that. Oh, yeah. There might be some kind of... He found something that broke the line. Drat! Drat, drat, drat! Whoa! Hey, underneath that rainbow is a pot of tarpon. We got them rolling up here. Well, I felt a little bit undergunned earlier. We, uh, we changed out to the eight footer just because I hooked a couple of real big fish in here. There he is. Whoa, there he is. jump Blair. <laughs> oh! He ain't happy, is he? Oh. <laughs> I felt a little undergunned, so I went back to the eight footer. We'll, when we chase the bonefish later, I'll go back to that seven six, but there are some grown tarpon in here. Watch it though, we'll hook one of the little guys now. Actually, Blair, there's some here at two o'clock starting to roll. See them there? Probably a hundred feet. I think you can reach them, go ahead. I think I need something banged it. Toying with you? Could be a snapper. Nope. There, there he is. He is. <sighs> Perfect size. Little guy. That's the size we needed for the 7.6 right there. Oh, we're good, we're good. I just wasn't sure coming over that ledge. Coming up. There we stick go. There. Yep. Oh, uh, here comes some more rain for us. We have been hooking tarpon left and right on these DOA shrimp here. I was using my 7.6 earlier and we were hooking nothing but big fish, so I switched to the eight footer <laughs> and got a little one. Murphy's Law. He's a perfect size. Come on. Nice fish. And there's the DOA shrimp coming up the line. And what you won't see is the camera shutting off because there's no time for me to say, hey, we got a rainstorm coming, we got to get, you know, they don't let me do that. The rain came, the cameras went off, and it was only about a three minute shower, so. Cut. I was sat there and fought the fish around the boat for a little bit. Well, sorry about the delay, folks, and sorry I'm all wet now, but that's, a, that's called a three minute uh, rain delay in Florida. <laughs> I've been fighting him ever since. This guy's stubborn. He gets down on that bottom in that cool water. Come on, baby. Let's see you get some air time again. Oh, perfect hook job. Right in the top of the mouth. Trying to knock me into that ledge. Pull him on over this way and see if I can get my hands on him. Already got a leader in there, he's a caught fish. Bottom lip. One thing when you're landing the tarpon, no matter if it's a 50 pounder or a 150 pounder right next to the boat, a lot of time that's where you're gonna lose that fish. <laughs> a little salt water bath to start the day off? Nothing like it, is it? <laughs> it splashed with a little tarpon slime. Right to you, brother. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Right. Little guy's got some spunk to him. I've seen 50 pound fish give the guides a fit. They've given me a fit. And I've seen 100 pound fish come up and roll over where you can just sit there and grab him immediately. You know, it happens out there. He was still a little bit green, got him in quick because it was the eight footer. He was a little tough to grab on too, but hey, that's fish. Ooh, still that ledge. I think he's done now. Yep. Open your mouth. What was that? Ow. <laughs> Look at that jump. I don't think there's probably much more of a fun fish in the world to fight than a tarpon. I mean, just absolutely incredible acrobatics. They fight you all the way back to the boat. 
can break your nose when they get at the yep. boat and jump up. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's try this again. That's only 40 liter on there. Yeah, I've been, been light on him. All right, I got a good grip now. Woo! Yeah. Tarpon, baby. Ah, come here, my little darling. That is a fun size. <laughs> good job, fun buddy. Size, brother. Oh yeah, that's my favorite. Get that hook out. Yep. Right to the top jaw. On my pliers, on my pliers I get them on my hip. Man. Pretty little fish. Get him unwrapped there. Nice. Break the arm. Uh, whether, they're, whether they're giants or little guys like this, they are a ton of fun. <laughs> a ton of fun. Y'all ever get the chance to get here and do this? The Sear Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it happen. Woo. All right, let's get this guy revived and get him back going again. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Right, a little spunky, you don't have to go. You really throw the water through the little guy's gills as much, do you? Nah. I got him in pretty quick, too. We'll hold him here for a minute. Even in the rain shower, got him in quick. Yep. Man. Help him catch his breath. Back up. Yeah. There you go, like you're swimming. Yeah, that would have been a perfect one for the 7.6. I knew that was going to happen as soon as I switched there the 8 goes. footer. Woo! And off he goes, brother. Woo. <laughs> awesome, man. Good that's job. A, that's the way to do it, brother, right Started there. All right. How many did we hook before that one got to the boat? I think we jumped three or four before three, that one. Three or four of them. Unbelievable. On DOA stuff. We're going to do it all on artificial today. We're going to go for the slam and see what happens. Y'all stay tuned. Thanks, brother. Good job. Woo. I think that the bonefish, uh, one of the reasons that we didn't see them is that it was so cloudy and the rain hit and it just wasn't the ideal conditions to have those bonefish come up. But you're in Key West, there's a lot of things to do. So Jared said, hey, let's have some fun with some kudas. We got on the back side of an island and man, did we have some fun with the kudas. There he is, there he is. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh. Oh. Cool fish, man, I love them. They will literally eat it all the way to the boat. Follow it, follow it, follow it, and then all of a sudden just annihilate it. Well, what Jared's got us doing right now, he's at the last flat of the day, we're fixing to go hit the dock, and he said, hey, let's go have some fun with Barracuda. And he said, we might even be able to see a permit on the flat. So I got the permit rod here ready with a DOA shrimp, and got the old XXL Miradine right here ready for these Barracuda, so. Throw it back towards my, like, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. All right, stop it. Start there he is. Oh, oh, did you see that? Nice, <laughs> nice fish. Now that's a, that's a cooter we can deal with right yeah. there. And barracuda to fight when the water's a little bit cool, they fight a lot harder. They jump, they'll do like four or five different runs. They're just really fun to fight in the springtime because the water's still cool. As soon as he knows he's hooked, he should take off. The hounder didn't like him. Nice, <laughs> little air there, baby. That's a little bit better fish, I like it. Oh, bull shark coming in. Oh yeah. He's got another good size one underneath him. Does he? You'll hear me say how much they stink, and sharks absolutely love to eat barracuda because it's a scent that they pick up on. Scare the heck out of me, I thought you fell in the water. Ah, oh, scared that <laughs> shark. I'm gonna go ahead and put the talon down. So that's a grown one, huh? That's a grown one there. That's a much, that's a full size fish. Just fight him off the back. He's wanting to go that way. Yep, bring him around, on and around. Come on, fish! You know it's windy when you gotta yell from the back of the boat to the front of the boat, and it's only 18 feet long. 
Come on back this way, mister. Oh, going around the pool. Oh. Come around on this side so we can show you off. Now, is that something you like to do in December, January, or any yeah. time? It's, yeah. Basically, like December through uh, February, early March. And you know, right before tarpon season starts to, you know, come back around. Yeah. And even when tarpon season does roll around, we got windier days, it's, you know, we can go do bones, bones and cudas. Bones and cudas. Let's see if I can grab this guy. Hey, you want me to hold the rod? Yeah, if you would. I got you, buddy. Hopefully not get bit. <laughs> Oh. All right. There you go. One big back of Ruta. <laughs> you want to get that out? Yeah. On the Miradine. That's that new XXL I've been throwing this year, man, and that thing has been doing awesome. Hook it in there. All right. Barracuda, baby. Look at those <laughs> teeth. Look at these teeth. If you can't get into catching one of these guys, that is a nice fish. I don't care how bad they stink. <laughs> and if you come down here and catch one, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> they smell kind of fishy. <sighs> you say that size there is kind of few and far between these days? Nah, you know, in the winter, we see a lot of them that size. Anything in the, like the 40 inch range is, is a real nice fish. Get on, buddy. Thank you, and come again. I know you're tired of pull, <laughs> pushing into that wind. I'm kind of tired of this wind myself. Y'all ever get a chance to come here fish with Captain Jared Sear, and he's got a brother that's a pretty good captain too. You'll see that show here this year too. They can put you on some fish. Thank you, sir. Don't forget yeah, about man. the website, addictedfishing.com, and uh, that wraps it up for today. I think we're all about tired of this wind. Well, that was day three of our adventure down in Key West, and let me tell you, it was the worst weather day of all three. Captain Jerry did everything he could to put us on the fish, and he did. We caught fish that day. If y'all are planning to book a trip down in the Keys and the weatherman happens to say, hey, it's gonna be blowing, don't let it discourage you. If you fish with a good guide like Captain Jared or his brother Brandon or even Kyle Kelso down there, they know where the fish live and they're gonna put you on them and give you every opportunity in the world to catch the fish. And if y'all happen to miss the first two shows that we did down in the Keys, make sure you go to our YouTube channel and check out this season's shows up there because they are quite exciting, especially that one we did with Brandon. Hey, what a better way to leave Key West than knowing that you got a slam in the can. That about wraps it up. Don't forget about the website, addictivefishing.com. Uh, we'll see you next week. Two of them on there it. There he is. Nice. Come on, let's hear you, baby. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to addictivefishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Oh, 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 there he is. Little guy got it. Whoa, there he is. Jump player. There he is. Oh. Yeah, they jump they like jump. crazy. Cut. <laughs>